Copy. Chatsworth now, and uh, he's going to possibly make a right. He's in that right lane, hitting a little bit of traffic here, and they get desperate once they get into these situations. As you can see here, this is going to be, I can't make it out there, making a right possibly, or maybe going through it. No, just going to cross in front of traffic. Very. here getting into the turn lane he gets in the left turn lane and then jumps right in front of everybody there just pass. cut across and get back on the 118 but for the time being it looks like he's committed to these surface streets going right through another intersection right through the red light right through the red light he's in the middle of the intersection now the light turns green but he's not really paying much attention to the lights he's went right through the red light almost hit an oncoming vehicle and now he's making a okay now, now it gets now he takes it to a whole other level when he gets into oncoming traffic nobody knows what's coming up ahead of them the last thing you Oh, oh, oh! Coming traffic, LAPD, uh, not far behind him now. They're, they're not going to let him go. But there you see an LAPD officer in oncoming traffic with him, an SUV, an LAPD Explorer there, keeping, uh, not letting him out of his sight, really. This has just become way too dangerous, and they will not let this guy go. He's like, and there he is riding the shoulder once again. So we, uh, Santa Clarita. While we're waiting for them to get involved, you know, oftentimes when it ends up in that vehicle with him, LAPD may know more than we know, but now it comes to a slowdown here. He's slowing down. LAP, uh, now it's CHP. CHP is now in charge of this pursuit. You can see that's a CHP Explorer there, and they are now right through a red light, right through a red light into cross traffic. Uh, now he's losing control altogether. No need for a pit maneuver there. He's now lost control, doing a donut in the middle of the highway here. There goes the pit maneuver. Heavy damage to that CHP officer. A, a hard Hard, hard hit, but he's continuing. After the R, he's slowing down, coming almost to a stop here, almost to a stop. A passenger, looks like there's a passenger preparing to get out of the vehicle here. I'm not sure if you can still hear me, but we have a pursuit that, another crazy one here, guys. He's in a residential neighborhood, dropping off a passenger. Somebody, he's just dropped, that person is just going home, going into another, another house here, so nonchalantly. This is unbelievable, but if he slows down enough, certainly they'll try and pit him again. Looks like he hit a puddle or a some dirt. He's spinning out again, losing control, and uh, this is now the second time he's just lost control. He's taken, and they just let him go in through cross traffic. Here comes a pit maneuver. Here comes another pit. They're going to try it again from his right fender. He's going to lose control once again, and there he goes. He survived pit number two, and he as he continues to evade police. The, the, head on, head on into another car. Unbelievable. Looks like he was slowing down there, so hopefully nobody hurt, but now he stopped head on into a, an innocent bystander, CH. 16th Street, 15th or 16th Street, and uh, he is just west of the 138. So now we have those innocent bystanders. Looks like a child in the back seat and a parent possibly who came running out of that car. They now appear to be safe. Okay, somebody's getting out of the Somebody's out. Somebody's out of the vehicle. He's coming out of the vehicle. He's crawling out of the vehicle. He's crawling out of the pickup truck. officer he is trying to set up for a pit, a pit maneuver and they execute those maneuvers when the vehicle is going at least under 35 miles per hour and the precise time is when that vehicle is making a turn that's when they can safely execute that pit maneuver and earlier when you were talking to the CHP officer it appeared the male driver was just kind of dancing around having fun and, and unfortunately you know what this is no fun he's putting everybody's lives in danger right now public safety is number one concern officers want to make sure they can stop this pursuit safely make sure that Nobody gets injured. So now some of these streets actually are a dead end. So we don't know if this person's going to get into one of these cul-de-sacs. There it is, my friend. Dead end, buddy. This is going to end. We're going to see what they're going to do. 
Yeah, we're north of Santa Anita Park. If you picture the 210 freeway, we're just north of the 210 freeway. Huntington Drive is the first major street that parallels the 210 freeway. We're a little bit west of Santa Anita. So basically, these are some of the residential streets that turn into a cul-de-sac because of the freeway. So they obviously were not familiar with this neighborhood. They turned into one of these cul-de-sacs, which is very good news because it brings this dangerous pursuit to an end. This female subject backing up towards officers right now. Her hands are up. She's not appearing to be any threat as of right now. And they'll back her up all the way. And one of those officers will put handcuffs on her. But it won't be over yet because they need to clear that vehicle, make sure nobody else is in that vehicle. And then once that's taken care of, then the situation will be a code for. Street is Loma Lisa, where it ended here in the Arcadia area, just off of Huntington Drive. Fortunately, two people have been put into custody. High speed, dangerous pursuit finally came to an end here. Great job by, it looks like, uh, uh, the Sheriff's Department helicopter, as well as CHP, bringing this pursuit to a peaceful end. Look at this, cars diving out of the way, this is 60th, crossing 60th, coming through another intersection there, red light blows right through there, CHP in pursuit, this pursuit started out in the industry area just about 15 minutes ago, here he comes into some heavy traffic, I'm going to zoom out here and show you the intersection, and good evening everybody on the web, this is a high speed pursuit that's going on in the South LA area, it started in the city of industry, Sheriffs, industry sheriffs were in pursuit of this vehicle. It's residential burglary suspects that were fleeing from the sheriff's department. They got on the 60 freeway at high speeds going towards LA and now they're into the LA area here on gauge coming up to Broadway. Look at that CHP officer trying to get into position, maybe trying to set up for a pit maneuver here and coming out onto a major here with cross traffic. There's a van coming in. We can't see what's going on, but he's, oh, there he goes. He made his turn and now he's going to go westbound again. Anyway, a lot of heavy traffic out here. Here he goes back down eastbound one of the side streets in a residential area. You can see that person right there jumping out of the road to get the heck out of the way. And there he comes waving. Now he's waving. Looks like a passenger in the rear coming out of the back window, sitting on the door, the door sill and waving to people on the streets. Unbelievable. But you can see that very difficult to keep up with this guy through these streets. Um, they won't let us go that way. Look at this. He's blocked in. He's got a car in front of him. Let's double in there and see that. Oh, look at that. He just forces his way right through that car that was just sitting there. We're not sure what that guy was doing, but he just he just jammed through that. He had nowhere to go. The car door was open. That driver looked like he was in the car seat or in the driver's seat and rammed that car. And whoa, he almost hits that car that was coming off a of side street. Man, a very dangerous pursuit here. Eastbound in South LA. West eastbound. Look at that. Cutting off that van. Unbelievable. This pursuit is just really gearing up here. And look at this. He's going down an alleyway. This is it. He's bailing, foot bail. He's jumping out and running. Two suspects running right towards us. And uh, there looks like uh, two of them running the same direction, going over this fence here and continuing on. I've lost the driver there, but he, they're going to continue on here. Let's see if we can pick him up. Coming up there, he is jumping over the fence, up on top of a rooftop, and then jumping on. Over and oh, look at that. He just fell a big fall for that guy, but continuing on. This is the driver continuing through the neighborhood here and through yards. And he's going to be popping out here. There's the LAPD officers right there on him. They try to tackle him, they miss him. They continue on southbound through the neighborhood here and into this backyard. This might be over right behind there on the street. Suspect in custody. That should be the driver that they pulled out of the side yard there. Uh, the investigation here on this pursuit will continue on in this area, but all three suspects out of the vehicle are in custody now. A wild pursuit, a wild foot chase through a couple blocks here ends with the, all three suspects in custody. The CHP doing a great job sticking with 
this uh, suspect vehicle, burglary, residential burglary suspects. Eastbound 91 passing the Tustin off ramp. Probably what's going to happen next. Oh, he's suddenly speeding way up. No? Near Imperial. Oh, just cut in front of somebody there. We have CHP. Looks like he's going to try to get off at Imperial Highway. No, back on. Boy, this is a desperate driver here. He is. Oh, he's hit that truck. He's hitting. He's hit. Oh, he's just swipe swiping vehicle after vehicle. Eastbound on the 91 at Imperial Highway. Hit numerous cars there. He's hitting more. Wow. Now we're going to see. Looks like more. Yep, he is just going through vehicle after vehicle there. We're now in the fast track lanes, eastbound side of the 91, Imperial Highway. Uh, this is a dangerous situation. Okay, now the, here's where we're going to get. We may see some very interesting activity here. We have a full freeway closure up ahead. He's really speeding up. Oh, oh. boy, the CHP. Do you see the door open on the CHP unit? Nope. Oh, another vehicle just got slammed by this. That's at least... That's at least four, maybe five vehicles that I've seen hit now on uh, the eastbound 91 here. Spike strip. Spike strip right there. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're going to see an accident here, it looks like. Yep. Oh, he has lost that front tire. He has absolutely lost that front tire. I'm surprised we're not seeing sparks at this point. He is, look at, he is spinning his steering wheel left and right, and uh, we're going to see what happens here. This uh, looks like it may be coming to a conclusion. He is just scraping the side of the car now, apparently having no control over the steering. Oh, oh, he hit some more, uh, looks like some more concrete there. We are in the Santa Ana Canyon. Uh, let's see, we are just, oh, he, this is just get going from bad. So your fast track lanes there on the eastbound side of the 91, your fast, oh, there's the sparks. We have not even a remnant of a wheel left on that vehicle. Nothing, yeah. To be officers, you can see, look at him trying to accelerate with those rear wheels full speed. They're not going to go anywhere now, so at this point, uh, this is where it's going to get really uh, s stressful for the officers because he has no place to go. Don't have a way of knowing what's going on in that car. Uh, they don't know if he's passed out. They don't know if he's laying in wait for them to come up to the car and open fire on them. We, they just don't have a way to know. And in the absence of that knowledge, they may want to choose for uh, those vehicles that the SWAT people uh, have are thickly armored. They, they are, uh, you know, uh, bulletproof in most cases. Yes. And actually, I'm going to pan to the west here and show you the eastbound traffic. And I just noticed in that eastbound traffic, I'm also seeing some more police activity coming our way. We're kind of in the dark just as much as you are as to what's exactly going on. I can, I can do a few little things to get in there and look at it, but not too much. What you're seeing is about what we, uh, what we can get right now. Look like almost like fireworks. I see people moving in the dark there, a lot of m motion in the dark. They're in the car. That's the back of the car there, I do believe. A uh, suspect wanted in connection with an attempted murder in the Compton area. And uh, the vehicle, uh, in avoiding the other uh, police cars behind it, tried uh, numerous times, weaving in and out of traffic, slammed into other vehicles. A lot of damage done here on the 91 freeway and a lot of damage done to people's uh, lives and plans for the evening for sure on this uh, Cinco de Mayo. A lot of people st just stuck for miles and miles and miles on both directions of this freeway. But the good news here is that suspect has been taken into custody. And as you can see at the bottom of your screen, we have traffic moving through on the westbound side of the freeway. Out of the car. Oh, look at the bunny. Look at the bunny. A lot of bunny coming out of the car.
throwing more money out, throwing more money out of the car. Whoa, look at that. Vermont right there. Vermont. Oh, more money coming out of the car. 40 seconds. Wow, more money. Has a dress shirt and a tie. More money. Very stopping because obviously that is uh, money that somebody else's needs to be protected, but the uh, pursuit continues with the lead car still right behind the suspect. Oh, look, uh, as we look up Vermont there, a large number of cars, at least six uh, uh, cars right behind him. So uh, that uh, that uh, 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 spot is not uh, working in his uh, favor at this time. into position for that pit maneuver might happen right here here it is pit maneuver on the off ramp oh he almost gets it almost gets it let's see as he tries it one he more time a right turn before let's see he's going to make a u-turn here maybe or maybe coming to a stop he's got his hands out the window said so enough's enough suspect still keys were tossed out hands out the window door open driver coming out complying with the officer this is uh, Long Beach, Long Beach uh, Boulevard at Bort, B-O-R-T Street, Long Beach, California. B-O-R-T Street is the cross street. Uh, it's in Long Beach. Yep. Ooh, close call. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Do another stop sign. The air unit now tracking. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, look how close. Unbelievable. I, I, I do it sooner rather than later. This guy's going to crash at some point. Up here, right there, this pursuit uh, initiated by the 77th Division of the LAPD. Look at this. He makes a quick evasive move there, 
and goes around traffic waiting at the red light and this is the type of behavior we've been watching for several minutes here as this pursuit has been on. This pursuit uh, has, uh, uh, whoa, look at that, how close that was right there into the wrong lanes of traffic right there. This is unbelievably dangerous and again, this is what we've been watching for several minutes here as this pursuit has been ongoing here. Now you'll notice there's no units on the ground there. Wow, close call there as well. Just literally uh, goes through intersection after intersection. He actually waited there. Whoa, look at this guy. He tries to get out of the way there. Have decided that it's just too unsafe. Look at this right here through a, a light right there across traffic. Oh, this is a close call right there. Unbelievable problems. He's going so fast. He's just going to gain. Actually, it looks like he may be getting on the uh, freeway right there. There's the LAPD helicopter, and he is he's, he's getting on the westbound 105, I believe, here. So now, well, now the now the real, uh, now the real, uh, uh, tough part happens here uh, where that is but it's the area basically south of the 10 and uh, oh look at this east of the um, wow that's crazy right over the curb in oncoming lanes oh look how close that was right there on oh another close call right there pedestrians uh, all of that oh look at this he goes onto the sidewalk through the bushes and goes around traffic and now makes a turn we, we have not, but I can tell you one thing, that front right tire now definitely starting to smoke. I think when he took that curb, he took it a little bit too hard. If that indeed is a flat tire, and it does appear now from what I'm seeing that that front right tire, oh, he crashes into the car. Someone was just, someone parked right there, and now he's running. There you go, and he's just running. Uh, they've got an air unit overhead, so they know where he is. I don't know how close the closest unit is, but we're gonna see as he makes his way. Well, he's running. I can't tell if that's a, a school or a business, but look at this, LAPD 77th officers right there, so they are right behind him. This guy certainly, well, oh, he's gonna try to climb the fence. Oh, he's he's done, he prones himself out, and this pursuit is over, but not before, but not before a violent ending here as LAPD tackles this suspect. So what a crazy ending to one of the craziest pursuits we've seen in some time here, coming to an end, uh, I believe. I is uh, traveling at extremely dangerous speeds way too fast for the CHP to keep up but the problem is he now has airships overhead and they will not lose him really crazy speeds and uh, just hard to imagine what would provoke anybody uh, to, to, to do this but uh, we've seen it oftentimes here in LA and we're continuing now southbound on the few up oh oh all right, we may have a squad car entering the motorcycle pursuits often last this long, but this guy is taking the CHP air unit for a ride, and we may have some uh, ground units uh, entering the just a minute ago. He's continuing to split these lanes and coming within inches of some of these cars and trucks as he makes his way uh, through all of this traffic and a lot of this traffic not knowing what this guy is doing as, they come up, as he comes up from extremely dangerous speeds uh, as he continues the run of his life here. Again, this all started over on the 605. Oh, this might be a pit maneuver right here. And there you go. Look at this. They spin him out, but he keeps going. Another one comes in, gives him a tap, and now the car stops. Another one comes in. Now, this is going to be real key for officers here for crossfire. They're going to want to make sure that no officers end up getting into the line of fire here. We'll pull out until we uh, see how this is going to end here. But right now, that number was what we believe to be three or four there. But there you go. The driver is now out. And, it, well, you know, it, it, it's kind of hard to tell there. It looks like they just pulled one person out. So those early reports may have been a fault there. From the looks of things, there's just one person that's being taken into custody. Clearly, the officers have walked away from the car. So at this point, it looks like this pursuit is going to be ending here in the community of Moore Park. The high rate of speed and approaching another intersection here. Car's hard, hard on the brakes. It's a red light. He's going to go into that left turn pocket and continue on. No, they got a green light there, but you can see those cars having to swerve away. We're having a, 
a difficult time keeping up with this driver in News Chopper 4 here because he's at, at such high rates of speed. And again, he started off this pursuit. Oh, look at this. Oh, a collision right there. Terrible accident. Hitting that car, T-boning it. The driver is out of control. Crashed into a fence here. A terrible accident here. That ends this pursuit. Deputies on the driver here. We're going to see him being taken into custody. A terrible scene here with this driver crashing into that innocent driver coming through that intersection. It was bound to happen, and it's such an unfortunate an unfor crashing at a high rate of speed into that innocent driver, T-boning that car, and then crashing himself into this fence. We're looking at, uh, this was uh, Rosecrans, and there he is, the suspect being taken into custody. Two pursuits at the same time. Okay, Aldo, it's all you. Oh, and somebody just went out and threw something right there. You can see that, that person threw something out, turning westbound now. Coming up on the wrong side of the road there, kind of tempting that car. Right there, spike strips were cleared, and it looks like it was a successful deployment of spike strips. The LAPD officer, hang back. He's going to toss some spike strips right there, and that was not a good throw. Kind of missed it just by that. Dangerous pursuit here in the South LA, South LA area. This is 43rd and Avalon. We've been following this pursuit for a couple of minutes. This is what we know. This is an alleged 187 murder suspect. Not only was she driving recklessly on the streets in South Los Angeles, she has a child in the back seat of that vehicle right now. Now, there have been multiple times since she has stopped, taunted LAPD officers. Right now, she's not following directions exactly to what they are telling her to do to get out of that vehicle but they want to be careful because she does have a child in the car. You can see she's been taunting officers driving around the area where she knows people. At times, I saw them throwing stuff at the vehicle. So right now, you can see LAPD officers. They want to get that child out of the back seat. She is sitting in the right side of that vehicle. Officers cautiously approaching. In fact, it looks like she is holding that child. And you can see how officers are yanking her out of the vehicle, taking the child to safety right now, putting that suspect in custody. This was a very dangerous pursuit suit here in the streets of South Los Angeles. Unfortunately, it came, to, it came to a peaceful ending. This is 43rd Street and Avalon, where they just put this lady into custody after this pursuit here. News Chopper Alpha was following this, and we're bringing you these live images. Workers are in the area as well, making uh, escalating the situation. You can see a lot of these individuals here are irated with the LAPD right now. A again, and, and, and at times we did see them throwing uh, items at that vehicle. She was in the same area here between Central, Avalon, MLK, and uh, a little south uh, right around Vernon Avenue, flying in, the, or d uh, driving rather. We are flying and getting a better orbit here. Uh, but you can see all the commotion down below. She was staying in this particular area, and you can see they're trying to get people away from the uh, vehicle. Uh, we do have a child in one of these cars, but again, it was those who know the suspect or that child who was in the car. We do not know the relation of that b between the child and that woman, but we do understand LAPD was talking to the woman's mother, and they were pleading to the mother to tell her daughter to stop the vehicle, and they wanted to end this pursuit. So fortunately, this pursuit finally come to an end here in South LA. Ooh, right here. Ow, that's it. Let's see what she does. Oh, no, she's going to try to keep going. Oh, she's going to keep going. Guys, she's going. Interesting. And if, oh, there we go. Oh, just hit that PT Cruiser here. Oh, and she's going to keep going. She's going to leave that. <laughs> uh, we simply know that she was wanted for reckless driving. Oh, we have several units that are trying to block her path. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, now, yeah, now she's going <laughs> to, she's adding on the charges. This is will likely count as an assault on a peace officer. We're going to pull out a touch just because we don't know exactly what's going to happen here. And there we go. California Highway Patrol in pursuit of the freeway. When we picked it up, we did hear that he hit the, going to make that turn against traffic, against a red light. Oh, look at this. Oh, slowly takes that turn. Unfortunately, the pit maneuver certainly could at any of the these passenger turns. with his hands out the windows. Could have been in one of the squad cars and now.
two passengers and the driver in custody now. They're going to likely approach the vehicle. There is a dog. We did see the dog in the back seat. They're going to approach the vehicle and check it for anybody else that's in there. Coming to a stop here. We're going to come into a stop ourselves, and uh, he's jumping out. He's going across freeway. This is very dangerous for this guy. He, oh, look at that. It's splitting those cars. This uh, deputy right here uh, was wise. Yeah, that was, uh, that was genius from the uh, sheriff's department to track it on the surface streets like that, and they were just pretty much waiting for him on that side road. turn and look at him he's fishtailing there he's gonna lose it oh he hit the pole i don't know the motor officer right there with him so that motor officer was he a hat it might be a pair of shoes it's hard to tell officer there off his motorbike and now he's gonna well he's gonna comply so we're gonna get right over it and uh very casual about just stopping this guy he telling him basically you have nowhere to go we got you surrounded and you're out of breath Yes. 90 seconds at the top of the show. Yes, it's Whittier, I'm sorry, Washington Boulevard, just west of the 605. Okay, end of the chase. <coughs> Perfect, thanks. There you go. He made a couple turns there under the freeway, so we lost him for just a moment as he was making these random U-turns. But we have him yet again continuing here again on Sepulveda, going to be coming under the freeway yet again. And it looks like he may be trying to get... Oh, right there, just crashed. Let's see what happens here. You see the suspect jumping out of the driver's window, and he's running. He is running with all he's got, running just under this tree here. We may lose him here for just a moment, but we will try to keep tabs on his location. Good. Uh, just weaving in and out of traffic here. Starting to lose control here. Under the 405 freeway. Coming up to a red light here, lots of traffic just squeezing by there. Now making a turn onto Sepulveda Boulevard. There you go. He made a couple turns there under the freeway, so we lost him for just a moment as he was making these random U-turns. But we have him yet again continuing here again on Sepulveda, going to be coming under the freeway yet again. And it looks like he may be trying to get... Oh, right there, just crashed. Let's see what happens here. You see the suspect jumping out of the driver's window, and he's running. He is running with all he's got, running just under this tree here. We may lose him here for just a moment, but we will try to keep tabs on his location. Okay, okay can we try? It might do the pit right here. Here's the pit. Here they're coming up real fast on the pit. Here it goes. One, two, three. Spinning out the car. There it goes. Come out and look at the...